Hey, welcome back to uh, another episode right here on Ruach Exposure. Um, Eugene Christopher Cocroft right here. I've been, it's late in the evening, it's quite late in the evening right now, but I've been reading scriptures about wisdom, you know, as I've been seeking scriptures and I came across a powerful uh, passage. Uh, I came across um, Proverbs chapter 8. And I t- uh, God really spoke to me in this passage and I just want to share this with you quickly about wisdom and where God has has spoken to me and I hope he just speaks to you as well in this so uh, it's Proverbs chapter 8 verse 6 it says listen for I will speak of excellent things and from the and from the opening of my lips will come right things for my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or per- perverse, yeah, perverse is, an, is in them. They are all plain t- to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Right, that's knowledge. Um, then we carry on here. Uh, For wisdom is better than ruby, says verse 11 now. And all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. So nothing can be compared to wisdom. Wisdom is key. And wisdom you get from the Lord Jesus Christ. Get it from God Almighty. Not man wisdom, but godly wisdom. That's the wisdom we need to seek. And Proverbs is all about wisdom and knowledge. And scripture says to cherish wisdom, for she'll look after you, right? So then verse 13, it says there, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way. And the perverse mouth I hate. Uh, so let's go straight to I love verse seventeen, right? It says, "I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me." It's so important, so important that we seek the Lord diligently. Um, there's a there's a study note right here on that. Let me just check here, John. 14 verse 21 John 14 verse 21 um, excuse me if I come too close to the camera John 14 verse 21 he who has who, he who has my command my commandments right my commandments and keeps them it is he who loves me and he who loves me will be loved by my f- father and I will love them, love him, and manifest myself to him. And what stuck out to me right there is, it says that I will manifest myself to him, right? Manifest, and I got it here. Literally, it causes to view, reveal, exhibit, make visible. No, um, so God will, Jesus will make himself visible to you. And the thing is, now, Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He paid the price. So right now, we live by faith in Him. But He left us with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit teaches us the things of God, right? The wisdom of God. And Jesus loves us so much. So, here we got uh, riches and honor, verse 18, right? Verse 18, it says here, Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold. And my revenue, yeah, my revenue than choice silver, verse 20. I traverse so many verse some of these words are difficult. The uh, traverse 
traverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice. Verse 21, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasures. Now that stuck out to me, right? It says there, let me just read it again. Again, um, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. So if you love Jesus Christ, you will inherit, you will inherit wealth, you will inherit the kingdom of God. And it says that, that is, I will fill their treasures. What treasures? Of course, your cupboards need to be filled. Your wood, um, you, you need clothing on clothing to wear. You go out there. Um, if you've got kids, kids need to be, full, be fed. But your treasures is your heart's desires in life. The treasures that ever needs to be, you trust in the Lord for, right? He will fill it up. The blanks in your life as well, but you trust in God for, for maybe it's something you've been through a bad situation as well. And you, I always had this void feeling in me when I was unsaved. But when I got saved, it got filled by the Holy Spirit. Jesus filled, up, filled the gaps in. I need a father. God, God is my father figure. And he put people in my life who was there as a father figure. As a father figure to me. So, and then this got me actually in tears when I, when I read from verse 27 and it says here when he prepared the heavens I was there when he drew a circle on the face of the, de of the deep when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep when he assigned to the, to the sea its limits so the waters would not transgress his command. So he commands the sea. The sea has a limit. It won't go past that limit unless God lets it go. So it, it's literally almost like it, it is the hand of God. He created the heavens and the earth. And it has limits, right? And that limit is going according to the word of God. Um, right, so when he assigned to the deep, okay, I've got that. Verse 30, then I was made besides him a master craftsman, and I was daily his delight. Rejoice always before him. Rejoice he in his inhabited world, in this world that, that God has made, right? Rejoice in it. Rejoice. And then, you know, then, of course, then let me just carry on with the word I'm just saying that. And my delight was with the sons of men. And now, therefore, listen to me, my children, for blessed are those who keep my ways. It's so important to keep the ways of Christ, eh? Hear your instructions and be wise and do not dis yeah okay blessed is the man who listens to me watching daily at my gates for who for whoever finds me and has finds life whoever finds jesus finds life whoever finds god finds life whoever has a relationship with the holy spirit has life and most important the holy spirit because he's the one that reveals Christ to you. But who sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Because if you don't love Christ, you don't love Jesus, you don't love the Holy, you don't, you're not following the Holy Spirit. It says, but he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. So where does your soul go when you die? Is it going to hell? to hell or is it going to heaven um, so I just pray that, that you be ask wisdom and wisdom is life and wisdom in, has only been found in Jesus Christ love is found in Jesus Christ so I just encourage you right now to follow your, the instruction of the Holy Spirit read his word it's your guideline to heaven so right now, I just pray God's peace, God's love, 
God's wisdom over you right now. I pray this over each one of us right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for your word that was spoken tonight by me to you. And of course, by the Holy Spirit, by Jesus Christ, who revealed his word to me in scripture. God bless you.